Alright, so let's take an example. It says A certain oil has specific gravity 0.95 and dynamic viscosity 0.011 points. What is its kinematic viscosity? So let's get this done. Um, solution. Let's list out given parameters. Number one, they said specific gravity SG is equal to 0 0.95 and they gave um, dynamic viscosity that's mu as being 0 0.011 points so we have um, these two parameters we ask to find the kinematic viscosity mu is equal to unknown now here's what we know we know that Kinematic viscosity mu is equal to uh, dynamic viscosity all over density or mass density. So our first case will be to get the value of the mass density. From here, recall, recall that we said mass density rho is equal to 1000 times specific gravity as already discussed. So from here, it's equal to 1,000 times specific gravity is 0 0.95. If I multiply this, it gives 950 kilogram per meter cube. All right, so we've gotten this value. Our next task is to get the uh, dynamic viscosity. In this case, dynamic viscosity is already given in terms of points. So we have to convert it from points to newton seconds per meter squared. And we said to convert dynamic viscosity from points, 0 0.011 points, to convert this from points to newton second per meter squared, we said divide by 10. So the dynamic viscosity is equal to 0 0.011 all over 10 and that would be about 0 0.0011 newton seconds per meter squared so we now have these two values the dynamic viscosity and the mass density all right so to get a kinematic viscosity remember that kinematic viscosity is equal to dynamic viscosity all over uh, mass density and that's equal to this value is 0 0.0011 all over this value is about 950 if you divide this this is now this gives the kinematic viscosity to be 1.15 1.158 times 10 to the power minus 6. Of course, the unit here is meter square per second. So I have this. Um, if you want to, you can convert this to Stokes by multiplying by 10 to the power 4. So this will now be nu, that's kinematic viscosity, being equal to 1.158 times 10 to the power minus 6 times 10 to the power 4. This will now be equal to 1.158 times 10 to the power minus 2 stokes. Or perhaps you can call this 0 0.01158 stokes. So this is how we do this conversion. This is how you solve this question. Let's look at yet another example. It says
the velocity distribution over a plate is given by the equation u equal to 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 y squared where u is velocity in meter per second and y is the distance from the plate boundaries in meters it says if the viscosity of the fluid is 8 points so I'm giving viscosity here um, when we say points that should be dynamic viscosity as 8 points okay it says find the shear stress at the plate boundary at the plate boundary that's number one find shear stress so we have to find the shear stress at number one the said plate boundary number two they said at y equal to 0 0.15 meters so as y equal to 0 0.15 meter, back to find the shear stress at plate boundary and at y equal to 0 0.15 meters. So how do you solve this? Uh, when it comes to finding shear stress, from Newton's law of viscosity, we said tau is equal to mu into du over the y. That's dynamic viscosity times velocity gradient. So our first step would be to get the velocity gradient. In this case, I'm given velocity as u being equal to 3 over 2 minus half y squared. So to get the equation or the expression for velocity gradient would have to differentiate because from this what we're seeing here, u is changing with respect to y. So if I differentiate this, I will have that the u over the y is equal to, I think there should be a y here. Please, there's a y here. It's supposed to be a y here. So I have this y. All right. So if I differentiate this, if I differentiate 3 over 2y, it gives you 3 over 2. Um, of course, 2 comes here. So if I differentiate this, this will now give you um, minus, this gives you y, you have this value, okay? Um, in case you forgot how we do differentiation, now here's how, I'll leave a link in the description of this video below. All right, but here's how you do your differentiation. u is equal to 3 over 2y minus 1 over 2y squared. We say the idea is simply multiply by the power and subtract 1 from the power. The power here is 1. So 1 multiplies this becomes 1 times 3 over 2y. Subtract 1 from here. 1 minus 1 minus the power here is 2. So it becomes 2 times 1 over 2y. Subtract 1 here. 2 minus 1. This is equal to 1 times 3 over 2 gives you 3 over 2y into 1 minus 1 is 0 minus 2 times 1 over 2 that's half of 2 is 1 so it gives you 1 times y into 2 minus 1 is 1 so I have this so from here we we'll have that um, taking this one off we we'll have that du over dy du over dy is equal to 3 over 2 of course y divided by 0 gives you 1 so I have 1 minus 1 times y divided by 1 gives you y so I have this if I multiply this I have that du over dy is equal to this times 1 is itself minus 1 times y is y so this is how you come about this answer so I have this Alright, so if you have this now, our next step would be to convert the dynamic viscosity to um, Newton's second per meter square. So we have that this value, which is the dynamic viscosity, is 8 points. That gives us 8 points. Convert 8 points, I'll have to divide it by 10. So that's equal to 8 all over 10, and that's equal to 0 0.8 Newton seconds 
per meter square. So the convert from poise to Newton second per meter square divided by 10. So I have this value. So let's now consider, after doing this now, we've, we've gotten our dy, velocity gradient, we've gotten our dynamic viscosity. So let's now consider the first case, number one. We are asked to find shear stress, that's tau, they said at the plate boundary. Now the condition is this, at plate boundary, we have that the distance is zero, okay? Uh, usually, this is like a plate. All right. So we have a um, plate boundary. So this is like um, a diagram of the question. You have a field flowing this way. This is y, which is your vertical distance. Okay. At plate boundary is this point here. At this point here, y is zero because it's at the bottom. Okay. So at plate boundary, you have that y is equal to zero. That's the condition. So if y is zero. We know that tau, we said tau is equal to mu. Mu in this case is 0 0.8 on conversion. So it's equal to 0 0.8 into du dy. Du dy, of course, du over dy are the same case that at y equal to 0. So I'll have that tau at y equal to 0 is equal to 0 0.8 into this value is 3 over 2. 3 over 2 minus y. So I have this. But we said y is equal to 0. So we have that tau of y equal to 0. This should be here. Is equal to 0 0.8 into 3 over 2. At plate boundary, y is 0. So minus 0. This will now give 0 0.8 into 3 over 2 times 0 minus 0 is 3 over 2. And that's now equal to, if I multiply this, um, 0 0.8 into 3 over 2, that is about 1.2. The unit for shear stress is Newton per meter square. So this becomes your answer. So the shear stress at the plate boundary, y equal to zero, is equal to 1.2 Newton per meter square. So this is it. Let's look at the second part of this question. All right, so condition two, it says at y equal to 0 0.15 meter. So let's get this done. Um, the shear stress at y equal to 1.5 meters will be equal to 0 0.8, which is mu. So it said mu into du over dy at y equal to 1.5 meters. So this will now be equal to 0 0.8 into this value is 3 over 2 minus y. We said at y equal to 1.5 meters. So replace this value here. This will now be equal to 0 0.8 into this gives 3 over 2 minus y is 0 0.15 sorry 0 0.15 um, 0 0.15 meters that's 0 0.15 meters, so minus 0 0.15. So do this math, this is equal to 0 0.8 into um, 3 over 2 minus 0 0.15. That's about 1.35. Subtracting this to get about 1.35. So take 0 0.8 times 1.35, that's equal to 1.08, of course, in Newton per meter square. So this is the value of the shear stress at y equal to 0 0.15 meters. 0 0.15 meters. So this is how you solve this.
right? 0.15 meters. This is how you solve this question.